What's going on YouTube? So right now I'm in Spartan Defense and I kind of had an idea. I kind of wanted to discuss some possible options for SHTF, you know, zombie apocalypse type stuff. So as you see behind me, I got a crazy arsenal like Spartan Defense. They definitely come with it. And like I told you before, this is a place where I go for my fire. So right now we're basically going to go over some top options at all their options. We're going to go over some top options, kind of narrow it down, at least in our opinion, to a couple firearms. That would be really good for SHTF. Y'all let us know. If y'all think something else should have been in the list, y'all drop it in the comments. If y'all would take something out of the list, y'all also drop that in the comments. But anyways, I'm gonna go and show y'all what I picked up. Okay, y'all, so this is our options. So basically, I got Jared to help me over here with that. And basically, we're gonna start off with the Daniel Defense. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Daniel. So go ahead and give your opinion about the Daniel Defense in, in that SHTF kind of standpoint. Yeah, of course. So this gun has proven itself uh, time and time again, Global War on Terror. More or less just this upper, but Daniel Defense um, as a company makes a fantastic rifle. Um, this would be a perfect gun for SHTF. Um, it's got a really nice um, Cerakote job done on here. Fantastic gun. The trigger's mil spec. It's not anything super, super nice, but then again, this gun is gonna be inherently reliable and it's just gonna run all day. You're also gonna get really good accuracy out of this guy, um, especially with a 14.5 uh, pin and weld. So super, super nice gun. And uh, not a ton of bells and whistles. You do have an ammo charging handle, ambidextrous, uh, ma or not magazine release, uh, deselector. Uh, but other than that, man, this is just gonna be a really reliable AR-15 pattern rifle for you. Yeah. Um, and Anything you throw on this rail is going to be rock solid. So mm -hmm. the block two uh, or the wrist two um, rail for a block two, which is what the military calls pretty much this upper. Uh, these things are rock solid. There's a reason that they've been used forever. Any of your night vision devices and flashlights and stuff are going to run perfect on this. Okay. So, I mean, that's one option. I know a lot of people is going to agree with that one because a lot of people really rock with Daniel Defense. But my next option, I mean, you guys got to know. I mean, if you guys seen the channel, you already know this gun. I already tested it. I already torture tested this gun. So right now we're going to go over to the ZPAP M70 by Zestava. So this one, I really like this one, mainly because it's a 7.62. Like anything in the AK platform is just known to be reliable. You know, it's known to run in the kind of messiest of conditions and it's, it's kind of meant to run dirty. So that's why we picked this one. And this one comes with all the tactical furniture on it. So that's how it comes straight from factory and it has the Magpul furniture on the back. So what do you think about this, about this platform? <sighs> I love the M70s. Zastava is probably my favorite um, AK manufacturer out there. Um, they make a quality product, and honestly, I'm honestly surprised these things aren't pushing two grand. Mm -hmm. These are fantastic rifles. We even have one behind me, the Boba Fett pattern, just because. Um, but dude, these things run. Uh, Zastava makes a fantastic rifle. Um, 762 by 39 is still pretty easy to come by. Um, not as easy as it used to be, but these things are nice. They have a bulge trunnion, so that just means that all of your uh, components, i.e. your barrel, your gas tube, and everything like that are gonna be rock solid, super rigid, um, and that's really important when it comes to, to AKs being reliable. Uh, that's half the reason that the LMG version of the AK, i.e. the RPK, has a bullet trunnion, so this just makes that even more reliable. You do have an optics rail for pretty much anything you wanna throw on there, and for the rest of the mounting surface, it's all M-Lock. Yeah. So it's whatever you want on here, man, this thing is gonna, it's gonna run yeah and it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna look sexy doing it so, mm -hmm. so i mean i think it, it kind of you know gives you best of both worlds between the ar-15 the versatility of ar-15 and your mounting options yeah. and the reliability of a like an ak-47 yeah so i mean that's why we had to put the the m70 on there so yeah. this thing rocks next go ahead and go with the galil, Let's galil. Go. sounds good so galil idby so they make a fantastic product the, uh, the Middle East has been at war for a long time, and that pretty much breeds a lot of really good, reliable platforms. So this guy in particular um, was developed off of the original Galil, which is um, not an AK. An AK. Um, this one is in 545. Not the most common round to find in the U.S., but um, across the world, you know, for SHTF, this would be a great rifle. Um, just because you can find the ammo pretty much anywhere um, in any com block country, um, and this thing is nice. You do have a folding brace, uh, which is great for storage and or vehicle operations, but this thing is awesome. Full length Picatinny rail on top, so pretty much anything you want to mount, 
you're good to go yeah and also what makes what what i really like about the iwi galil is like he said this one is chambered in 545 right mm -hmm. they also make it in you know 556 and 762 by 39, 39. Yeah. and it also has a little on the other side it also has a little cover so yeah, a little, a little dust cover. Dust so like cover. a lot of other guns yeah. this thing does cover pretty much all your internal components unlike an ak where it is exposed mm -hmm. this is covered so it's pretty nice also the side charging handle is a definite upgrade definitely the ak definitely for most right-handed shooters are going to mm -hmm. like this so great so option we had to put the iwi on that list so next so what do you think we should go to next uh let's save the best for last okay yeah. so we do have the sig sour mcx so this thing is pretty cool um the big brother to this, so the MCX Spear, um, has been adopted by the U.S. Army, um, as well as most of the other uh, branches of the U.S. military, uh, for good reason. These things are basically a futuristic M4. Um, it's based off the AR-18 platform, which was an original design by Eugene Stoner before um, all this stuff came out. This not is not an original idea, but this is a fantastic um, display of what you can do with an AR pattern uh, rifle, uh, more or less, and this thing is awesome. Um, it's not super heavy, a little bit heavier than uh, a normal an AR-15 in this uh, configuration. The nice thing is you do have a folding stock and you can shoot it folded, so great for a bag gun. Okay. It also has an AMB charging handle, which for a lot of people is essential, um, and dude, it just runs. So you have an adverse setting, for your gas gas block, so this thing will run dirty um, or in poor weather conditions, even with a suppressor. So another great option. Okay. All right, y'all. So next, we know we have to include some shotguns in this because I mean, SHTF, you can't go wrong with a shotgun. So go ahead and tell them why you kind of picked this one for you know the, to make the list. You know. Yeah. So we kind of doubled up on shotguns. Um, this is kind of my pick. I really like the uh, Mossberg 930. Um, Jerry Mitchellek, who's a super prevalent shooter. Um, and the guy is super fast when it comes to shooting. Uh, built a competition model um, of this gun, and it just runs, man. Um, I like this one a little bit more because, you know, more tactical. You have uh, your extended tube. You do have some really nice um, fiber optic sights in the front, and you do have your ghost ring in the rear. But this guy, um, it's going to be inherently more reliable than most semi-autos on the, on the market. The 930 is a fantastic shotgun. Shooting Mossbergs in the Navy, mostly pump actions, but I like this guy quite a bit. They run really well, and really the only thing you're gonna be using for SHTF is gonna be um, 12 gauge buckshot or slugs, mm -hmm. and this guy will send it with either. Plus, um, semi-automatic shotguns are generally softer shooting than a pump action, so it's gonna save your shoulder as well. There it is. Okay, now we have one more shotgun that made the list. And it, I mean, this is my personal favorite because I mean, I had this one and I had I, I had this for a while, honestly. The reason why I picked this one is because I think I ran over like a thousand shells through it without cleaning it. And this thing ran every shot. So what we have here is the DP-12 chambered in 12 gauge. And it does come with two tubes that are what 18 it takes 18 rounds i want to say seven seven rounds per tube and then okay uh well you can obviously have uh, two in it two, two in the chamber yeah so 16 rounds total um i could be wrong but i'm probably not um this guy is fantastic so most shotguns i.e like the the uh, keltex mm -hmm. you have one barrel this guy mm -hmm. you have two so the nice thing is you can pump this guy shoot once mm -hmm. and then shoot again so you have two rounds before you need to pump the next one which is pretty fantastic um it's not all that heavy most of the weight is in the rear kind of like an iwi tavor um so it's not that gigantic and as a bolt pop shotgun this thing has a full length barrel or two full length barrels so this thing is going to do really good things when it comes to terminal ballistics on target mm -hmm. um and then just dude, it just looks like the doom shotgun <laughs> or like you know not not the super shotgun but you know now the only thing that we was talking about that could go wrong with this because mine mine personally never went i never had no issues with mine with mine but it does have a lot of moving parts on the mm -hmm. inside so i mean the more parts you have the more you know you're acceptable to you know function to like reliability issues so but with this personally i've never had no issues by no smith and wesson they came out with one 
And I know a lot of people had problems with the Smith Wesson bull pump type gun that kind of looks like this. Yeah, and the uh, Keltec, um, Kel from my experience, is not as reliable as uh, this guy. Um, but with anything, keep your guns lubricated, keep them, you know, clean, um, and they're gonna do, you know, the best for you. So, I mean, that's it. Okay, guys. So, like I said, all of these are currently available at Spartan Defense, amongst much more. So, I mean. If you guys want to get in contact with them, want to come in, just reference that. It's got our phone number. Um, we even have an Instagram and a YouTube channel that we're going to be uh, putting videos up on real soon. So if you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to call the number and or show up and say hi. All right. So that's that's going to be it. So y'all let us know what y'all would have added or what y'all would have took off. But until next time, I'll see you on the next video.